In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to adjust the timing of the starting effects of your titles inside the title room to match audio in your project. I was working on a project for another purpose and setting it up, and then I noticed, well, some of these steps might be useful to my subscribers, so out popped this tutorial. Let's see what we can do. Let me give you a sample of a somewhat finished project and then we'll show you how we created it. I have my video on track number one. It's some aerial footage of Portland, Oregon, stock footage. And then what we're going to do is add some audio to it. I have an audio file, another stock file. I'll take the music file and drag it down to track number one. I could put it on the music track, but I don't have to. Now, if I play the two together, the audio and the video, I immediately have a problem. Because as it starts, there is a gap before the music begins. Simple way to fix that problem if you happen to run into it is this. You double click on the audio clip. That gets into your trim audio function. Then take the left mouse button and drag on the little triangle and move the time indicator to the beginning where you want the audio to start. And then click on the fourth icon from the right at the bottom. It's called Mark In and it will in effect shorten the audio clip and click on OK. And as you notice it did exactly that. I'm going to drag it back as far as I can to the left and now when I play the movie audio and video begin together which is exactly what I want. The next thing I want to do is add some titles and tie them into the beat of the music. So I'm going to click on the T on the left side to get my title room where I can press the F7 key and then this gives me a choice of templates I can use for my title. In this case I'm going to use one in the options here called Backdrop 1. We'll start with that. If I move up here I have a Backdrop 1. I'll take and drag that down to a lower numbered track and we'll stretch it out a little bit to make it longer. Increase the duration with the mouse. Now, if I play the movie from the beginning, I can hear it and see it. But you notice there's something about the way the text comes in that, that doesn't match the, the feel of the music. So we're going to change that. I can double click on the title, get into this template, and we're going to make some changes. Now, there actually are two elements here. You don't always see them because it loads with the first one visible, the second one not. I'm going to click on the down arrow on the left side below the previous screen, and you see we actually have two titles. We'll work on each of them. First, we'll go back to the first one, which simply says Add Title here. We'll change the text of that in a moment, but I, I need to change the way in which it comes in. You notice we have position keyframed. So it pops in at the first keyframe and when I click on the right arrow I go to the second one and it only takes 11 frames for that to pop in from the left to the right. That's much too fast. Let's see where we actually want it. I'll go back to the beginning and hit my play button. I'm somewhere about there around three seconds is where I want it to end. So I'm going to take my mouse and click on the second keyframe in position and drag it over and I can see on the timeline indicator above the previous screen about where I want it. Let's try something pretty close to three seconds. And now let's see what it looks like when we play it this way. Oh, that looks good. That's just about what I want. So I'm going to close my first title and now we'll look at our second one. Now I actually don't want it to start until after the first one is in. So it has to start after three seconds. So let's take the edge of it with the mouse 
and drag it to the right and I'll give myself a few extra frames here and then we'll move back and see what happens when we play this again okay now we want it to, about here is where I'd like it to to stop coming in from the right so if I take this element and I drag it and you can experiment with this as much as you want. Let's see if we got a little better look to this. Now that's pretty good. We'll go back to simply editing the text. And in this case, what I'd like to do is change the size of it. We'll go up to perhaps 12. And if you don't like the preset numbers on the left, you can drag over and type in any number you like. Some people don't realize that that's an option. I'll use a 13 point in this case. And then I'll change and I'll edit this text and edit the add title here text and get back to you. I've changed this text. What I'd like to do is change a couple other features of it. When I have a background this busy, I like to make the text bold. So we'll click the bold over on the left side. And let's add another feature that helps it stand out. I'll take a shadow and add a bit of a shadow and that should make it a little clearer to see the text in this particular situation. I think what I might even do is increase the size again. 13 seems small or 12 seems small. Let's go up to 15 or 16 and that would seem to be a little better. So let's go back and see what happens when we play the segment. That, sound, that looks really good. We'll click on OK. And now what I want to do is go back to my main feature here and see where this is ending. Now I want it to end about here, so I need to actually go back and stretch the title a little. I may have to adjust the timing again. on the downbeat here. So we'll add another title. I'll simply go to one that I created myself called Annual Report. Put this back and finish it with this. And now we'll go into our title designer again. In this case I'll just double click on it and we'll change it to visitportland.com and again, the easy way to center it is to click on the left icon below the previous screen and do horizontal center. And I may have to change the size again. So we'll highlight all the text. And let's go back to 44. And then we'll do a horizontal center again. That looks good. Then we're going to change the effect, the starting effect on this one. And let's go to the bottom of our list. Let's go to zoom. and click on OK. And so when we look at the end of this not too bad. So that's a simple way inside the title designer to change the timing of your transitions so that they fit better with any music or anything else you have on audio tracks in CyberLink PowerDirector.